Hello, and welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Like I've said before, I do discuss some obscure subjects, and this one is another another obscure one. I was going through my book, I, I write down ideas on what I want to do future shows on, and right now I'm going down the list and crossing them off as I go along, and the subject that I'm going to be discussing today, the next one on the list is Fago Soda, F-A-Y-G-O. Um, first time I ever heard anything about Fago was 1977 after we moved to Northern Virginia, but we moved here in 1976. Well, I used to see commercials for Diet Fago, and I thought Fago was just basically a diet soda because I had never heard of it, and I remember them selling the diet flavors in the grocery stores and Nothing, don't remember any anything else, but had, had, have never tried it, and I still have never tried Fago soda yet, but I, I am going to at, at the very end. Um, here's a bottle that I got a hold of, a bottle of um, Fago root beer, twenty big 24-ounce bottle, and the thing was only um, 89 cents, which is pretty cheap for... Um, bottle of soda these days compared to Coke and Pepsi, which is probably nearly two two dollars now. That's Fago Fago root beer. I went on went to YouTube and was looking at some old um Fago commercials and it was basically a jingle was Hey Fago, say Fago, what a way to go. A rainbow for a f full of flavors, how many do you know? Um it mentioned in that 1977 commercial, 33 flavors. I was reading to date; they have 30 flavors. That's that's quite a lot for for a soda. A little um, a little history on um, on Fago that I got off of the Encyclopedia of Detroit from the Detroit um, Historical Society. As Fago is a product of Detroit. In 1907, Ben and Perry Faginson. They were Russian immigrants, were bakers in Russia, bottled lager beer and mineral and soda water. They started playing around with the soda water and mixed in their frosting flavors to make soft drinks. The soft drink was bottled in a small plant on Benton Street. The first flavors they had were fruit punch, strawberry, and grape. And they formed the Faginson Brothers bottling works in 1920. They changed to Faguson Brothers Company and then Fago was adopted. The brand name in 1921. They were sold out of a horse-drawn carriage back then when they, when they first first came out. They, they, only had, they, they were sold the day after they were manufactured and they didn't have a very long shelf life. The brothers ran it, the company until the 1940s and ceded control to their sons. In the 1950s, it was only sold in, De in Detroit and Michigan because of the limited shelf life. Well, the chem chemists that worked for them came up with, made it a way that would have at least a year shelf life. It became popular out of the state of Michigan in the late 1960s and were featured, it was advertised during Detroit Tigers broadcasts and they had commercials the Fago Kid. I, I saw a couple of cartoon commercials of the Fago Kid on YouTube. It was sold in 1985 to National Beverage Company out of Florida, which also owns Shasta and still owns Fago to this day. Today Fago comes in 30 flavors and is sold in many states east of the Mississippi. The most popular brands are Red Pop, which is another it was originally called Strawberry, they changed it to Red Pop. Cola, Moon Mist, which is similar to Mountain Dew, Orange, and Root Beer. Those are, those are the most popular flavors that they sell. And I am going to, I did a little bit more research. I almost, I was, I almost thought I wasn't, that I wasn't going to actually find the, the flavor, list of flavors. I was going to call, actually call Fago and ask him where to find it, but I did run across it, and uh, I'll read off what, what, I, what list I see online. It's, um, their flavors consist of Red Pop, Rock and Rye, Root Beer, Diet Red Pop, 
diet rock and rye, diet root beer, cotton candy, orange, diet orange, grape, diet grape, candy apple, moon mist, diet moon mist, moon mist blue, cola, diet cola, cream soda, diet cream soda, 6040, whatever that is, diet 6040, black cherry, peach, diet peach, Dr. Fago, that's similar, I guess similar to um, Dr. Pepper, gold, diet gold, ginger ale, diet ginger ale, twist, diet twist, cherry cola, pineapple, pineapple watermelon, pineapple orange, jazz and blues berry, raspberry blueberry, fruit punch, Onaha punch, on Onaha, oh, I'm sorry, not Ohana, Ohana punch, Ohana lemonade and iced tea, Ohana lemon iced tea, Ohana lemonade, Ohana strawberry banana, Ohana raspberry lemonade, Ohana kiwi strawberry, sparkling water, sparkling cherry, sparkling grapefruit, fruit, sparkling orange, sparkling lemon lime, tonic water, Diet tonic water, club soda. Wow, quite a, quite a list of various um, flavors that they have. And I'm gonna actually give this a try right now. I've never, like I said, I've never tried Fago. But go ahead and open it up. Make sure it don't stuff doesn't go all over the place. So we got the air out of there. Hmm. It tastes kind of similar to dad's dad's root beer. That's what it's it's hmm. It kind of has that old fashioned taste to it, but but very good, very good. It's better better tasting than any, you know other root beers I've tried. I I remember um, as a kid drinking frosty root beer. I remember that being around, and um, there's Hires root beer, and I don't know. This 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 is pretty good, and first time I've ever tried tried Fago, and I, I like it for for eighty nine cents. The tax ninety four, not not bad at all. And a little history on Fago soda. And as always, thanks for watching.